Good day. I'm Ninja Den. I'm back again to teach you some more ninjutsu and the significance, the importance of being ninja and what it means to be a ninja and how the advantage is over any other enemy or opponent and how this is accomplished is through postures. Postures give the advantage because they allow the ninja practitioner to move out of the line of fire or attack or what have you. Uh, this is why uh, I think it's important if, if children want to learn to uh, defend against bullying uh, in school or wherever, they should learn to be ninja because ninjutsu will give them the tools, will give them the knowledge and the skill to avoid a bully direct attack by a bully. And also, they will be able to negate the power of the bully over them because a ninja is fearless. A ninja makes his mind over. A ninja does not fear anything. A ninja has total control over a situation or an environment. So this is what I want to say that with ninjutsu, in posturing, when you posture, you are untouchable. You are unstoppable because you have the advantage over the enemy. The enemy commits themselves and then they are open to an attack, to a counterattack. And a counterattack that will floor them, put them to the ground, negate their power, and the ninja will take it. That's what it's all about. Stealth. Secret movements. Uh, you can't figure a ninja out. A ninja has thousands of of different combinations has thousands of different moves there's not just forms there's not just set movements there are many secret movements there are many moves that are surprisingly just unpredictable to the enemy okay or the opponent so if somebody tries to kill a ninja, they will be killed because a ninja will know already with his Hara guide that that person or that individual or that enemy in front of them wants to try to kill them or seriously harm them. So what will happen is it will come back on them and they will be seriously harmed or killed. Okay? So, this is what I'm saying. They are, shall not go against a ninja. If they do, they will lose out. And they will surely pay for it. Okay? Because ninjas are super stealth operators. In fact, ninja were the first black ops in existence on earth okay the first black ops guys I'm going to teach you girls too I'm going to teach you a strike that is devastating okay uh, with posture as I told you before I showed you perhaps Reg the Lion showed you this ninja den is going to show you a posture now this posture is confusing because it looks like the ninja is open to an attack because he's standing like this and then he throws his hands up like that right this is called hoko no kumai right but when the person or the enemy comes in on the ninja the ninja can do very everything he can do he can he can create 
a situation where the person is rushing him. But when he's rushing him, a ninja can change his gravity and he can use double strikes, double strikes, devastating double strikes in the throat and the face, right? Boom. Down. Finished. Because when a ninja throws a person down with nage, they're not getting up again. They will seriously be knocked out when they hit the ground. If they're another ninja and they want to, uh, you know, say kill, right? If the person is putting that out in his body language, that he wants to kill the ninja, the person that has the purest heart will prevail. The person that has the negative energy will lose because it, with negative energy comes negative emotions, fear, anger, um, you know, um, uh, there's, there's so many things, so many different emotions that a person, anxiety, they're not calm. So the person that's calm does not lose his emotions, he will prevail, okay? So this is what I want to say. Um, yeah, with postures, the best, the best. Postures gives the advantage over any enemy. And with multiple attacks, especially, uh, with posturing, is it's just... You, you can't you can't go without it because when you're dealing with multiple attacks with different attackers, you can get in a situation when you where you have control when you're posturing. And you're actually you already know where you're going, but the enemy doesn't know where you're going with with your attack or your counterattack or your strike. Because the interception is hidden, okay, until it's on top of them. So somebody that wants to take you down, wants to football hike you or, you know, rush you, a ninja will know that he's rushing by his body language. Well, also, he's running towards you, right? So basically, it's just sidestepping and boom, you know, um, there's many different things you can do. All right, so um, girls, guys, children, I, I, make, I make this video for children because many people think that ninja is just all about weapons. No, it's not. That's the truth. A ninja practitioner, a taijutsu practitioner has no weapons. He makes his body as a weapon. He doesn't need weapons. He uses his body. He uses his postures. Okay? Does that make sense? All right. So, learn your postures. Uh, many, many different postures. Many. Um, there's probably a thousand. Maybe more. I don't know everyone. Not in this life, I don't. Right? But I'm, you know, I'm always, always learning. A ninja practitioner always practices. He always is learning more and more from the collective, the universe at large, right? So that's all I'm going to say today. And glad for you to be with me. Do subscribe, like and share this video and this channel. Subscribe to it so you do not miss any of the super awesome videos that are coming up on Reg D Lions channel. Okay? Good day. Sayonara. See you again.